Six on your side's Madeline White attended the Housing and Homelessness Summit at Jump in Boise today and joins us live in studio with details. Yeah, housing and homelessness, a big issue, but the way one city rep described it is they are no longer reaching for the low hanging fruits, trying independently to house everyone who was homeless, but now they're collectively aiming for those high hanging fruits, which in this case he says are the families that are experiencing homelessness in Boise and Ada County. Mayor Beter first brought the idea forward in his State of the City address. $6,000 is the difference between a child sleeping in a shelter or having their own bed at night. Now, reps from the city of Boise and Ada County are convening on the topic because the stats are alarming. Last year alone, 819 students in the district experienced homelessness. 819 out of roughly 25,000 students. This data from the deputy superintendent at Boise School District. Surely, if you know children in our school system, they were had classmates who were homeless. When it comes to homelessness, housing is an especially urgent need for kids, and data proves it. It's a learning barrier. There's a direct correlation between students who are homeless and those who are below grade level. Plus, it can cause mobility issues, and studies show homelessness is often tied to trauma and behavioral challenges. Mm -hmm. With government partnerships with 30 local stakeholders in recent months, ending family homelessness in Boise is becoming an aligned target. A city director says 178 known families in Ada County are currently experiencing homelessness. We have uh, a manageable amount and we believe uh, with everybody pitching in, uh, we can uh, effectively over some years uh, eliminate family homelessness. How? For one, they say they'll see to it that families take priority for services, especially those with kids under five. Also, preventing families from getting evicted by helping families in need pay their rent and by connecting families fleeing domestic violence with local resources. Still, city reps maintain the importance of building more supportive housing. Supportive housing works. Just like we see at, at New Path, across all of our programs, those who get supportive housing intervention, 80% of them are stably housed a year later first projects are the toughest, but once you've done one, it's so much easier to do it again, something similar. But other than that, Beter says they're relying on philanthropy. If we, you know, focus resources right now, we have a chance to do what almost no community has. Ada County Commissioner Diana Lachiondo says county representatives will begin interviewing philanthropists in Boise in the coming months to gauge interest in the project to end family homelessness. If that interest does exist, she says the county will dedicate $500,000 from its budget towards this cause. In studio, Madeline White, six on your side. Much more of the day's news coming up in just a moment.